Alright, I'm going to do a quick flight here. Um, in the background I'm testing Navigraph's charts moving maps and be following along. Um, it is actually almost 11.15 on June 9th, 2017. We are heading towards Minneapolis from Milwaukee, MKE to MSP. Um, looks like there may be a line of storms behind Minneapolis. Hopefully it doesn't get there. We'll be able to see some lightning off in the distance or something like that. Hopefully. But, um, basically I've already pre pre entered the flight stuff, so... Um, anyway, let's get going here. Um, our flight today has 120 passengers. And just to take a quick look at the routing. Hawk and Robbie Cable to Killer to Huggy to Crisp to Afton John Z Greek Dolly Vectors to Krug Efex Zesty and Kins to Runway 12 right at Minneapolis. We'll probably do an ILS, so those last few here after this won't matter much. Um, we'll get the cabin a little bit set up here, but first of all, we've got that going. Let's get our beacon on with that. Take a look outside. Alright, and this is the new version of the IXEG 737. Um, as you can see, I have the windows open. You could put filter on them. Galley has power. Let's put our fasten seatbelts on, let them know. Alright. Fuel switches are on. Our switches are set for engine start. <coughs> Left engine first. Getting movement on N2. Twenty, give it some fuel. Okay, starter is set on the left engine. Start to spin up the right engine. While we do that, we'll turn the wings. N1 is moving. And then we'll give it some fuel. Alright, we will be taking off from one left today. <laughs> nice. Those were set. Alright. Ground services will ask for a straight pushback, release the brakes. Alright. Um, We'll 
say our first initial altitude is 10,000. Actually, we'll say they're going to give us 6,000 just for the fun of it. Taxi lights on. Yep, that's good enough. I know they usually push you a little bit too much on this one. Here are some movement just to test them out. I think we're good. The one I do have to check out is the outside front wheel. Alright, our brakes are on. We'll move them off. Let's advance us a little bit forward. ourselves a little bit because they pushed us back a little bit far. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to hit a taxiway here. We are going to hit Alpha to Tango. Well, actually, you know what? To make a left Runway 7 right in front of us. 5 left. We'll say um, traffic control gave us clearance. Get that set in flight.
looks really pretty out here. Oops. All right, we'll be holding short here at zero one left. We'll quickly get the plane configured for takeoff. All right, weather on. really need it on at the moment, but I'll turn on that part of it. Um, everything else seems to be good. Let we need to put on the flaps. One more. Flaps five. Arm, oh. Arm the auto throttle. Alright, set and rotate. Laps are at five. A couple things we need to adjust up here that I noticed I didn't do at all. Overhead. We will need to cut off the bleed. And we'll say close the isolation valve. Let everybody have some air that I didn't do before. All right. Electrics on. Drop pumps are set. We have fuel. Oh. Alright. Lord strobe on. Notify them that we're taking off. Yaw dampers are on. Alright, back to this one. We'll give us a little bit of floodlight on it. And back to the captain's chair. Seem 
to be all set to go. Alright, so we will go into LNAV and we will go into VNAV as soon as we um, get that up in the air. Parking brakes off, here we go. Tower is giving us clearance to go. Oh shoot, one thing I'll do here on the runway I didn't do, I didn't set our altitude in the um, cabin pressure. Alright, I'll hold here for one second. <coughs> Overhead. I fall, flip over to flight. Landing altitude, I'm not quite sure, but we'll say 500 feet. Um, let's see here, flight altitude. Oh, it's at 25,006. Thirty-four thousand today. Easier to fly. All right, give it some power. Let the engines level out. Brakes off. Of course, that was. There we go. Positive rate of climb. I think it took over VNAV yet, but... Bring up the flaps, we're going over 200. Right. Say they 
played us to 15. It's going to go up to our 34,000. DNAV is in effect. Seventeen miles from Hawken. Turn off our taxi lights. Panel looks good. We're going by 10,000. We'll get rid of some of this extra light stuff. One above 200 or 10,000, so we're speeding up. If we look at our plan here, our climb is at 290. Hawking. Now 
sound to wrap. Let's turn on our radar. that off <laughs> for now. Above eighteen. Approximately 900 feet is the actual altitude. Eight hundred and something. Sixty six nautical miles from
Ordnance are at cruising altitude. Looking at the radar, storms seem to be northwest of Minneapolis, so don't think they should be a factor in what we're doing. I get out here, right? Pretty darn accurate. We are at Robbie now, we will be going on the cable. Watch our clouds pass here to the left.
Yep, we're on our way to kill her. 80 nautical miles, we are about 40 from the top of our descent here. 43 nautical miles, that's what I'm keeping my eye on. doing this here, we got a minute. Localizer will be 110.3. We're on that. Final approach is 121.
10 nautical miles to the top of the sun. MC has a has a message. Reset MPC MCP altitude. speed brakes. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. You take it out of the nav. Oh. It wants to descend at point seven three, say seven two, and the lower oh. Maybe that's why it was having a problem. That might have been the, this altitude that I was having. It wanted it at 8,000. Okay, we're gonna need some brakes here. Well, what is our mock speed? Seven six, yep. Extend those. I 
it'll pull up from this here in a second. It's trying to intercept this glide slope because we missed the descent in the first place. It's kind of making up for it. There we go, we're losing the vertical speed here. that off there. It's probably going to overreact. <laughs> find out the barometer here. There's is Adis, Adis, Adis. Tower, clearance, ground. Uh, Adis, 120.8. Minneapolis St. Paul INTL Information India 400 Zulu weather Wind 130 at 9, visibility more than 10 Sky clear, temperature 24, dew point 14 Altimeter 2963 Arriving and departing runways 12 left, 12 right, 04 Advise on initial contact you have India Minneapolis St. Paul INTL Information India 400 Zulu weather Wind 130 at 9, visibility more than 10 Sky clear, temperature 24, dew point 14 Altimeter 2963 Arriving and departing runways 12 left, 12 right, 04 
advise on initial contact you have India. Minneapolis St. Paul INTL Information India 400 Zulu weather Wind 130 at 9, visibility more than 10 Sky clear, temperature 24, dew point 14 Altimeter 2963 Arriving and departing runways 12 left, 12 right, 04 Advise on initial contact you have India are getting close so we'll just get this stuff on seems to be working the way it's supposed to at the moment. Slowing down to 250. On our way to Jonesy. And then Greek, and then we're into the fun. set like a three for a stopping break. I'm going to take over VNAV at this point. Start slowing down to our 230. And our next altitude will be 6,000. Actually, I should have it at 8. My fault. 8,000 at Greek. We are a little bit below that at the moment.
next speed will be 210. Um, that won't slow down until we make our turn here. miles will start slowing down to 210 so we're going to need to be around the corner here we might be able to put down one deal of flaps yep give us a little bit of drag Turning the corner, alright, so they give us direct Krug. Direct Krug, 7,000 feet. Level change. Okay, we're at 7,000. 7,000 at Krug. Then at Zesty. 4,000, but we cannot go below 6,000 after till Efax. So. We make our right turn from Krug, we go down to 6. Actually, now I didn't see any storms. It's actually quite nice here. They must be a little bit off to the northeast yet. Right, prepare the taxi lights. Max 210, let's start slowing ourselves down here a little bit. I'd rather be around 175. Alright, let's get the 
this thing ready for the 6,000. Ten on the flaps. All right, we're at Krug turning, so we are going to. Speed will say minus seven hundred. be 4,000. It's 4,000. Now I'm going to switch over here. Approach mode. See if it captures it.
Roger, approach mode is on. Plane is turning on to final. Grab the glide slope. All right, we are good. <sighs> Ten nautical miles out. Landing gear down. Three green lights. Twenty-five hundred. All lights are on. of a mixed approach. Yep, 3,000. They're still following the glide slope. Bring our speed down some more. Too close. <laughs> all right, flaps down. And I'm all the way down now. We are 5.2 nautical miles away. Let's get this thing matched up. Autopilot is mine. Throttle is mine. model has a little bit different feel to it. A little more glidey and floaty from what I can tell. 400. Still a little bit off to the left, or to the right, when it's off to the left. 300. But high. Minimum. I can see the runway we're landing. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Well, a little bit of a bounce. Reversers. Alright. Oops. 
Oops, my fault. I never turned off the reversers. Flaps up. Probably should have went to the next one. My fault. Okay, we are clear of the runway, we see an open terminal, and we'll say that we have clearance to go to it. I saw an open terminal. Reset those camera views. Blind them. Okay, let's see if we can do...
should be a view from the tower. But like I said, it felt like it was a little more like I was fighting wind or you could tell you had slowed down. there was the balance. <laughs> Not too bad though. Okay, I should have gotten this going before, but... that down to one. Alright, now we can go for engine shut off. ourselves over the ground. I think we move roll the forward a little bit, so I don't think that the gate will come over, but should have. <laughs> all in all, it worked rather well.
ground services. We'll connect air supply, we'll connect that, and we'll open our cargo bay doors. We'll check that out. I believe they're on the other side. Yep. Alright, so we should have external power available to us. say for the moment we don't need that. Well and all the systems worked well. this one a video.